To say the addition of tier 17 maps into Path of Exile has been dramatic would be an understatement. The reception to this new form of endgame content in the sphere of Path of Exile has been riddled with ridiculous drama, upset players, and lots of people leaving the game in droves. Now, of course, lots of the problems with Tier 17 maps were fixed by the second week of Necropolis League, and there are still some minor fixes that need to be made. However, I do believe Tier 17s are the future of content at the end game of Path of Exile. They will be coming in the future. And with that being said, what exactly might they look like? Now, that is the topic of this video, because this is the future of Tier 17s. More will be added to the game. They will not be removed. And I challenge you after listening to half this video or maybe the entire video to design your own tier 17 map based on the parameters that I am setting out here. I have exactly six different T17 map ideas that I would like to discuss with all of you today in this chill video. So let's get right to them. I've prepared a presentation just like one of my favorite PUE YouTubers, Sir Gog, and we are going to look at the six T17 maps that I have designed ideas around. Of course, I'm not a game designer. I am just a PUE player who loves the game and creating content for it. So we have the first map, which is the Beyond map. This map would involve bringing back some classic bosses that are no longer in Path of Exile, and those are the Beyond bosses. Yes, the reskinned bloody demons that have been replaced by the Scourge. This map would be in the design of the Belly of the Beast, but even darker, and the end fight arena would be in Malachi's arena with the blood surrounding you, maybe with some extra bells and whistles there. The bosses, of course, would be the original Beyond bosses, and you would be fighting two of them at a time until you've disposed of those two bosses, and then you would fight a Baxas, the end of all that is. If you are able to kill them, you of course will get an uber fragment potentially, and you would also get a buffed Edge of Madness. Now, for those of you who do not know what it is, the Edge of Madness is an etched greatsword, and it really rewards essentially stacking chaos damage. And this is centered around what a lot of melee builds are currently doing, stacking chaos damage or converting all their damage to chaos. Now, with some buffs here, I do think this would be a viable option. Right now, it's a little weak, but since we're already leaning into the chaos angle with a lot of melee builds, this would be a nice buff to that archetype that lots of people are already pursuing. This also was added in the original Beyond League way back when, when it was implemented, I think in 2012 or 2013, which is absolutely awesome and a good homage. So with that being said, what is the second one I have here? It's the Ascendant map. Now this map would involve fighting Malachi, and Dominus's Ascendant version at the end of the map. At 50% though, on Dominus, he changes forms to his normal Dominus form with the feel the touch of God move and all those stuff. And then at 50% on Malachi, when that boss reaches 50%, Dominus's apprentices will arrive into the fight. All those people that you fight in waves on that OG Dominus fight would actually come out all at once and join the fray, creating quite the hectic battle. I think this would be incredibly fun as long as they are balanced appropriately. Now, the map style is just going to be like the Abomination map, kind of similar to that. I think that would be great. And then the unique reward would be a buffed Malachi's Awakening. Now, Malachi's Awakening is actually no longer available in the game itself. It used to be an item that could be upgraded via the Prophecy mechanic from Malachi's Simuli. I think with a little bit of buffing here, this will turn into a very strong Blood Magic Helmet. It's a very coveted slot right now, but with some buffs to this item, I think that it would be a viable uber map drop from the T-17s. Okay, let's go right on over to the next map idea, and that is the Origins map. Now, the bosses here would be Hillock, Fire Fury, and Hailrake, which are the first three bosses that every single Path of Exile player currently will face in the game. Hillock is on the beach, Fire Fury is in the next area, and then on the title island is Hailrake. Of course, these bosses would have to be buffed a little bit, maybe getting some extra attack speed, movement speed, changing up their abilities slightly, but I think the idea, the concept of fighting these three bosses in a T17 map would be absolutely hilarious and pretty cool. The map style could be a longer twilight stand with some bells and whistles there, and the unique reward, my idea, is that it could be Sony Garashi, which is a caster version of Oni 
Garashi. You could change all this stuff to affect spells instead of affecting physical damage and attacks, and I think it would make a pretty funny weapon. It doesn't have to be a sword, it could be a staff of some sort, but I thought that would be a pretty cool idea here. Next up, we have the Pantheon map. The boss of this map would be a random set of three beefed up gods. Could be any of the gods that we find right here on the Pantheon screen itself. The map style could be very similar to the actual tower that we ascend to fight Dominus. I like that vibe. With a reworked Veritania's arena, maybe with a hurricane swirling around us as we fight. And the unique reward here would be one filled divine vessel, which is tradable. It's not the strongest thing in the game, but I do think it's a kind of a unique item that's not a unique item that could drop from this actual map. Next up, we're bringing back another league that is no longer available into the game, and this reward type will be very controversial, I know, and this is the Forge map. And all it's going to be is a juiced Crucible boss at the end. There were a set of six or seven Crucible bosses for those of us who played Crucible League, which we could fight. They were pretty cool. They were actually pretty tough. I'd love to see them back into the game. And the map style could literally just be the Forge of the Titans map, which is no longer in the game. If you played Crucible League, you know that this is a whole bunch of causeways atop a lava sea, and it was pretty fun. And it was quite similar to the design of T17 maps right now with the tight hallways, single ways forward and everything. I think it would work quite well. And the unique reward here could be one to three weapons, white weapons, with a Crucible passive skill tree allocated. So if you didn't play Crucible League, it looks exactly like this right here. Your weapon would actually have a mini passive skill tree on it that you could level up through. I really love the idea. I know this would be a huge amount of power creep in Path of Exile 1, and it would essentially turn the Forge map into something that everyone would want to run to get these awesome weapons, but I do think that would be an interesting addition to the economy and to the loop of Path of Exile's endgame right now. They don't have to be massive trees like this. Maybe they're limited to two or three nodes, and of course many of the nodes, like the Explody Totem node, would have to be reworked slightly, but I still think it would be a pretty awesome idea. Now let's get to the final one right here, and this is another removed league. It's the study map. The boss here would be a metamorph with 10 bosses inside it. I know that they removed metamorphs because of the technical, not limitations, but issues that they had having the monster go between all the different forms, but maybe that was because they kept adding new monsters and it just made it hard to maintain. If it is set to 10 bosses from maps or something like that, maybe this would work better. Maybe it could be not 10 bosses from maps, but maybe it could be a metamorph between the Conquerors of the Atlas or something like that. Those bosses don't change a lot. That pool is not shifting, so maybe that would work better. The map style could be just like Laboratory or even Tane's lab that has been removed from the game, and the unique reward could be a beefed up Warrior's Legacy, and this is another pseudo buff to melee right here. This, we this item really isn't used a ton with melee. I think if it's changed around a little bit with strike skills, it would maybe getting rid of the 20% less attack speed. Oh my goodness, Grinding Gear Games, why do you do this? Maybe this would be a viable option, especially if it was only dropping from an Uber Tier 17 map. Now, those are all the ideas that I have. Now, I would like to challenge you. Can you design a Tier 17 map for Path of Exile 1? How exactly would you design it? Which bosses would you use? What unique reward type would you put in there? Do you think this is an absolutely ridiculous idea? Well, if you do, still leave a comment below and tell me why tier 17 maps are the worst and why they will never find their way into Path of Exile in 3.25. They're totally gonna be gone, right, right, right. Make sure you watch this video right here, which is all about how Necropolis League kinda died.